morning. I'm Darrell Pont, and thanks for joining me today. Over the weekend, me and my son were tearing up some junk, getting it ready. Today, we're gonna load up the truck and bring it into the scrapyard to see what we can get. I know scrapping ain't for everybody and most people they collect aluminum cans but aluminum cans ain't really where the money's at it's in copper and brass I mean that's probably why most people give up on recycling is because the aluminum cans you save them and save them and you bring them in and you maybe get 20 or 30 dollars sure if you save them all year and bring them in once a year you might get a decent amount but for every week there ain't no way you'd, you'd have to you'd have to have like two or three hundred pounds a week unless you work at a bar or something like that or got access to that many cans there's no way you're going to make that much with aluminum so you got to try to find motors and vacuums and stuff like that and work on the copper that you can easily make 50 or 60 or even more a day depending on how many you can get a hold of you just got to talk to people that are cleaning out the garages if they're throwing something away and then you look around we drive around town and see what people are throwing out. I always ask the people beforehand if it's all right, just so uh, there's no hard feelings. And then we just save it up and tear it all apart and bring it in. Some brass pipes in here. This is insulated wire. Got about 20 pounds of number two copper in here. These buckets here, probably 250 pounds of steel in each one. Can't even move them. So, doesn't look like we got a lot of steel, but there's a lot in these buckets. We're about to head up there and see how much we can get for this mess. I realize a lot of people they just don't like to tear apart stuff but for the people that do like to tear things apart you know just snip off the the cords off the end they're worth a dollar and 15 cents a pound right now so you know it doesn't take four or five cords you got a couple pounds before you know it you got five or ten bucks on your hands instead of throwing it out just stack it up for a couple weeks you know even if you can't do it every day and it's all right if you don't like to recycle every day I understand that most people have a full-time jobs but on your time off you know make yourself a little extra money I mean it does help pay the bills we're heading up to the scrap there now we should do pretty good we got quite a bit of copper and brass and some um, insulated wire
Yeah, you seen the little truckload we had there. Like I say, the, the metal on the motors and that stuff, the weight adds up quick. We ended up getting a little bit over $200 for that load. I mean, it didn't really look like a lot, but you know, that's why I encourage everyone to recycle, you know, make yourself a little bit of extra money. At that, I wanna thank everyone for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.